Hey guys, welcome back to the program. Welcome back to the D Time Love Show. And today I've got a very interesting video. And as the title states, yes, this watch from Richard Mill, the Samurai, would cost you two million dollars and there are very few people that will have the privilege of ever owning such a piece and one man that we know who has that piece is the man jay-z a world famous rapper for those of you who are not familiar with who he is but before i go into more detail in regards to the watch let's have a look what i'm sporting today and i'm wearing the seiko samurai blue lagoon and this is a watch where the case basically has emphasis of the design of the samurai armor in those lugs. Look how the way they, they are cut. Look at the masculinity of this watch. A very tough watch. This is the Seiko Samurai Blue Lagoon Limited Edition. And I thought it'd be very fitting today to showcase this watch with this Wish Do It, which is very much playing homage to the Richard Mill Samurai. And I repeat, it costs two million dollars now what wish do it do they provide um you could say they play homage to luxury watch brands and bring them to you at a very good price and this watch comes in at around 500 us dollars guys and let's get some close-up footage of that doll and as you can see guys this particular timepiece that doll really showcases the armor that is the armor of the samurai guys let's get close up look at the detail and i have to say this wish do it watch whether you like it or hate it you have to admit the detailing of the doll is absolutely immense guys the the effort the manufacturing behind it and to come at a price of five hundred dollars and i'll be honest with you it really does look extremely close to the richard mill um samurai some would say blatant copy some would say homage some would say it's been inspired by the richard mill samurai but let's be honest who would ever be able to afford two million dollars to spend on this particular timepiece i know collectors that don't even get close to that price tag in regards to their whole collection it's a very unique and a very specific taste but if you're someone that really loves the look of this timepiece then look no further than this wish do it now yeah i have to admit the name it could have chosen a better name but looking at the doll looking at what the package you get guys you know it's got an in-house 80 hours power reserve Let's have a look at the back of the watch and have a look at the actual movement there. It's a very cool watch. Let's just change perspective and we'll go through the dimensions of this timepiece and I'll leave you some more footage of this very intriguing timepiece. Now let's go through the specification of this Wish Do It armor watch. Um, it's got a 42 millimeter case diameter. Lug to lug, you're looking at 50 millimeters. Case thickness, you're looking at 15.7 millimeters. It's fairly thick, and um, that's because it's got a number of layers in the dial and so on. Let's just turn this timepiece over for you guys. And there you can see Wish Do It's in house movement. It really does have an 80 hours power reserve. I've checked it, guys. Very nice, um, very in fitting. This is a limited edition watch and it comes, I believe, in 300 editions per colorway. And uh, Wish Do It have very kindly given me the Armour 81, uh, my birth year, as a gift into the channel. Very nice indeed. And you can see the crown there. Uh, very big turbine crown. Wow, it's absolutely massive uh, with that rose gold finishing. And let's take a closer look at the doll itself. And you can see the layered doll there. The detail is absolutely immense. Just zoom in for you guys to see the detail and the work that's gone into this watch. Now, whether you don't like the design and it's not for you, you just have to admire the amount of work that's gone into this timepiece and the quality of it at the price point of $500, guys. I mean, look at this. Look at the detailing. A skeletonized watch. Got my hand behind there. Look at the samurai armor. 
absolutely fantastic, guys, I have to admit. So this is very much a Marmite watch, but if you're somebody who's looking for a watch and you're on the market for something with this sort of detailing, it's really hard to beat. And I have to admit that Wish Do It make the best quality RM homages out there. They really do take inspiration from the, yes, they do add a little bit of element of their own design, but overall, I have to admit, look at this, guys. Look, look at the detailing. You know, you see what brands like what Aventi are providing at the prices of their watches. Even they seem affordable, but this is on a different level for the price. The value it brings is just unbeatable, guys, I have to admit. So if you're not interested in this particular design, there are other designs, but this has got, I believe, a sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating. This is the most complex watch that they make. They're also going to be making watches with sapphire crystals and so on on the cases at a very good affordable prices. So you really will give the watch enthusiasts of these types of watches a gateway of buying into these watches at affordable prices, guys. So guys, leave your comments below. Let me know what your thoughts are on this particular piece. And let's get some loom shots and some shots of the watch on the wrist. Thank you.